Hey everyone, how's it going? It's been a while since I've done a video of my collection, so I figured let's test out the new camera and let's take an update video on the collection that I now have and the work I am working on. So, let's start off with this right here. This is the 3 Racing Secura D3 CS Sport Drift. It's a great little drift chassis. If you're into drifting, it's it's very budget friendly. I paid, I got for me 140 is what they're going for, I think, maybe cheaper now. Uh, I got 10.5 turn brushless motor in it. Front mount motor for drifting. It's great for weight balance. Battery goes at the back. It's got a 2.14 CS ratio counter steering. Um, I actually ended up getting this sent to me from my buddy Aaron, also known as DJ Medic, over on RC Sparks. A good friend of his. I've helped out with a lot of work on his website, on the forums, and so I got this as a thank you. So, it's a great chassis. Very happy with it. Definitely worth the money, especially if you're just looking to get into drifting. It is a kit though, so you still need to buy your own electronics. Next up is my Tamiya TA06 Pro. I've got it set up for drifting. It's got, what size is this motor? I believe it was around a 10.5 turn brushless as well. Um, the only other up upgrades I have is a center front one way. I have not bought a front one way diff for it yet. They're expensive. This whole chassis is expensive right off the bat. At least it was when I got it. It was around five as a kit. No body, no tires, no electronics, nothing. All upgrade parts are pretty expensive as well. I do have the front ends all upgraded, back ends all upgraded. Um, and there will be more upgrades to come in the future. Uh, I do not drift this one very often just because of the price and the amount it costs to get replacement parts since I have to order them all online from a company in Japan because nobody locally really sells these parts. It's pretty much my show chassis. What else I got? And a lot of you guys are familiar with this. Or at least you were. It had this body on it for a while. The F650 body I did with the Nissan Skyline light buckets that I custom made for it. <coughs> I wasn't too happy with that body in the dually look anymore, so I got a HPI 1979 F-150 body. And I think it looks pretty great on there. I do need to get this done. One thing I need to do is I need to get big fenders to cover a little bit of the back wheels and then it's ready for paint. If you've seen in my previous videos, the rear axle is cut down and shortened for a more scaled dually look so the rear tires line up better with the front. All underneath, fully upgraded knuckles, all new links, transmission mount, transmission casing, drive shafts, everything on this has been upgraded to aluminum. Also, I have shortened the wheelbase to the dingo size to fit this body, so there's no more a honcho wheelbase. Um, the electronics, nothing special, stock axial 27 turn motor and a Novak Rooster Crawler ESC. And if you can see this little container inside, that's how I waterproof my electronics on this truck. This is my favorite truck, first truck I ever bought. Eventually, it'll get finished. Next up, let's see. HPI Mini Trophy Truck. It's a 1 12th scale. But the reason I bought it was because it is very scale looking. You got the interior, and it's the same wheelbase as the Axial SCX10 Honcho. So I figured, why not? Let's have a scale off road 
race truck that's also scaled to the rest of my rigs. No upgrades in it, waterproof receiver box was added, blocked front and rear diffs, and some low C 1.9 crawler tires that I took off of a mini crawler, low C mini crawler. I need to work on the steering. The steering doesn't work that great, so I need to take it apart and adjust it. Now this bad boy, some of you might recognize. I just recently picked this up off my buddy Nate. It's a beautiful truck. It's a beast. It's a monster. He built it, and I ended up picking it up off him because he wanted to get into racing. Custom stacks, diesel tanks, custom bumper that he made for the front. It is solid. 2.2 IROX on 2.2 RC four wheel drive steelies. This thing just screams monster. Let's take a look at the inside because it is. And here is where the receiver is and the ESC. It's also got a BEC on it. The ESC is waterproofed. This box will help with that. It has, you can see it, two, where are they? Two 45 turn Tekken motors. Uh, extended wheelbase, it's got a 13 or 14 inch wheelbase, so it's, it's big. I have not driven this truck yet on the trail, so I really hope I will be able to get it out there soon and test it out because I, this is one I'm very excited to try. I cannot wait. Last up, my RC four wheel drive Jelande 2 with the Land Rover D90 body on it. Picked it up as a birthday present to myself. I feared it's super scale. I love the scale look of things. Hobby store in Abbotsford had one, which is about half an hour from where I live. So I said, screw it. Went in, picked it up, and I've been very happy with it. I do a paint for it. I'm not going to reveal the paint colors yet, as I do have a paint scheme in mind, and I want to paint the body first before I reveal it and the color, because if it doesn't work, it's going to get sanded down and redone. And a lot of you guys have seen these. And the full interior is just insane. Beautiful scale truck on 1.9s, just beautiful. I, just, I love this rig. I can't wait to get it finished and take it out and just drive it. Super scale. Waterproof servo, titanium gears. Let's see. What do I got? I got a 20.5 turn <clears throat> brushless motor. I'm going to be putting this in here. I always go brush with my trucks, but I figured it's time to try a brushless setup. Just need to get it wired up. I have a servo down there that goes with this. I'm super excited. I can't wait to start painting. As soon as the weather gets better here, I'll be able to start painting. I'm going to get this motor wired up and get it mounted, and then we're good to go. There is a build thread on the RC Sparks forum of me and a buddy. It goes by the name Brian, also Azrael74. He is working on a Trail Finder 2. We are doing a scale build-off competition. This is what I'm using, and he's going to use the Trail Finder 2. I'll post the link to that thread in the about section below. Well, that's about it. That's my collection now. It's not huge, but there's a lot there in the projects that is. You know, I have no more planes, no more helicopters. I don't have any of that stuff. I don't have a boat anymore. 
I do want to get a quadcopter, but that is down the road in the future. So, if you liked what you saw, if you got any questions, please feel free to subscribe, comment, share, ask any questions that you need. Um, suggestions on anything for setups like the making fenders on a dually because the axial ones are too small, they will not fit. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little update and hopefully soon I'll be able to bring a video for you guys on the trails of one of these trucks. Or if you have any suggestions on the type of video that you would like to see, please feel free to respond with that and give ideas, suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you.